cool. Yeah! Uh, that guy, he's gonna be. Okay. Uh, are you the same guy who did the? Yeah. Okay. Okay. He's, we've yeah, been doing yeah. that all weekend. Yeah. You want that? Yeah. In, do you want that in the cartoon? Uh, I'll yeah. go, I'll go over this in a minute. Okay. So, um, for those of you who who may or may not have been watching uh, the, the series, know that uh, we have a tournament coming up. And uh, it's going to be watched by, you know, tons and tons of people all over the place to, to come and, and watch all these uh, uh, digital dummies beat the It's snuff. essentially the Super Bowl of the, of the game. Of Tom, yes. yes. Uh, so I thought it would be kind of neat, instead of uh, asking a million individual people to record and probably not get their lines in on time, <coughs> I decided to, hey, why don't I just have the audience of a convention do it? So you guys are going to get to be the audience of the Gemini tournament in uh, an upcoming Very episode exciting. of Tone. So. <laughs> okay, and you're and thank you for doing that because you're at the uh, perfect uh, level that I needed. Uh, all right, so here's how we're gonna do that. And you have to don't touch it. You don't have to touch it. Okay. All right. Um, do do that one don't more time, touch. just for the hell of it. the recording chill out that's very good so, though so you're all size like this panel must be amazing you're all you're all hired you're all hired again okay all right so it's not that great we were just practicing <laughs> no that was great though okay so before we're gonna do questions and stuff and go like normal but the, so basically we're gonna do uh like a just, bunch of just a couple different cheers from the audience so i'll tell you guys what to do and then when i do this it's that's not, when you stop it's not picking you up on that it, it, no. oh it isn't no, I don't see anything on that. Have you got the right microphone set? This is amazing. Hey, hey, can you hear me? No. no, check your microphone settings on Audacity, mate. This is how fascinating it is working on an abridged series. My microphone isn't working, what do I do? Tone the abridged series. Anybody have any questions while he's uh, working on stuff? Nobody has any questions? This? Oh, man. <laughs> you haven't seen much new stuff with Yu-Gi-Oh! I, I, I released an episode in December, that was the last big release I, I came out with. I've, I've actually been working on original material uh, recently, like nothing that I can like be like, here it is, on the screen right now. But uh, I've been writing scripts, and I've been, uh, I've been, I've been like trying to do live action videos with my friends. I've, I've, I've basically been trying to like build up like this thing where if you go abridged ends tomorrow, I, I actually have something to fall back on. So, uh, and heaven forbid that happen, obviously, but uh, I am, I'm, I'm trying to, like, I, I love writing more than anything, and if I can sort of make a name for myself as a writer more than as the Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged guy, I'd be, I'd be very happy. So yeah, I'm, I'm working towards that. I actually, I have this terrible script that I'm working on called Carl of Cthulhu, which is about a guy who gets involved with a cult, and he thinks that they're just very dedicated role players, and <laughs> until he's asked to sacrifice a virgin to their dark lord, and he, he actually ends up causing the end of the world. But uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to convince him. You guys ever seen any of any of his old web comics from a million years ago? Yeah, uh, there, there, there was this, there was this, and, and I say this only because he's referred to it as terrible web They are comics terrible web comics. That he did uh, many, many years ago called Robin and Roll Destroy the World. It wasn't called that. Oh uh, no? What was it called? It was called The Tongue, because the main character of the, sh of the comic was turned into a tongue, even though it's not really a tongue, it's like a green blob with a tongue coming out and eye stalks. It was really phallic looking, but uh, <laughs> um, what kind of... Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to try to keep my language under control. I'm oh yeah, phallic, that is the, the worst swear word ever. I, well, you were looking at me like, uh oh, Kerb, are you gonna, uh, I'm little Kareem out, Kerb, are you going to say naughty words on my panels? <laughs> Just get on with it, you phallic head. <laughs> Goodness! Phallic head! Anyway. I'm trying to convince him to do an original cartoon with me because I want to do that. And we we had a few ideas. I had an idea for again going back to the role playing thing, uh, a, a cartoon about either a cartoon or a book series about like a bunch of kids in like a, a, a sort of faux medieval high school, and like uh, one of them gets sent to detention and he's like the the cleric of the group. Oh, oh no, he's the knight of the group, and, and like the cliche is that he's always saving the dragon. And the, the girl that he meets in detention is a dragon, oh, and she ends up saving de de Defeating the dragon, you mean? Yes. You said saving the dragon. Oh, I'm sorry, yeah, saving the dragon. <laughs> I'm already... Yukio, waking the dragons! 
Right. Do you get it worked out? We're all good. Okay, all right, so here's what we're going to do. All right. Uh, so we're going to just do a couple different cheers that I'm going to use for background fodder through different things. So the first one, uh, and also to answer your question, if you were like, I'm going to say something louder so I can be heard in it, please don't do that. Be, be fair to everybody and because, you know. How about we do one where that everybody says yeah, that way he gets to have his yeah. Thing. Okay, that's fair enough. All right, uh, before, before we do that though, uh, first I want to just have like some chatter. So uh, when I when I do this, that's when you start, and just you don't have to yell, just like talk, like just talk, say talk to your neighbor, get to know them, ask them questions, and then when I do this, that guy's gonna be like yeah 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 yeah. Okay. All right, so yeah, quiet on the set, quiet on the panel. Yeah. Well, Ari is gonna be have syphilis, 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 bacon and syphilis. Syphilis, 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 bacon and herpes, and syphilis. What else? I'm a demon. I'm a demon. I'm the devil. I'm a demon. It's oil and green. It's made of people. I'm a demon. Were you doing the yeah, yeah, yeah thing? <laughs> yeah. Right. He was asking questions that could only be answered with the word yeah. <laughs> What's, okay. the, what's the word when you want to make a positive remark about something? Yes. <laughs> there we go, yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> One moment, okay. Alrighty. Uh, okay, the next thing I want, um, I want uh, what you guys did, your, your audition, the, uh, the, the cheering that you did before, that is what I want. So let's do that again. <laughs> You should just film a video of me standing on the stage while they do that. <laughs> and then be like, Lil Karibo at Comic Con, the highlights. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, next. Um, Are you keeping this in the same, same file? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, now I wanna. This one doesn't have, have to be too long, but I wanna boo. <laughs> And then we should have you on stage for that one. <laughs> yeah, that, that's when Curb is having his fight. Of is it really? Oh, uh, I don't know when I'll use that. Maybe it'll be when, like, maybe, yeah, maybe it'll be like when Raccoon shows up or something. Little jerk. Although Matt would argue, they should all cheer when Raccoon shows up, because he's the best character. All right. Um, now, uh, I want, and I'm sure you all get a kick out of this, uh, I want, Nye luck, nye luck, nye luck. All right, okay, so. so. Just so you know, it's nye like, the end is nye and luck, as in lock, you, lock your doors. <laughs> Wait, there's something really dark happening. The end is nye, lock your doors. <laughs> okay, all right, here we, all right, here we go. Nye luck! John, did you abstain from chanting? Did you abstain? Oh, you did, okay. No, he said it sucks after every night. Oh, you're a jerk. He said sucks after every night. Right. Oh. Uh, now, uh, this is also sucks. this is also a really quick one, so you can, I don't have to tell you when to stop, you just do it and then it's over. Um, like, you just saw something really horrifying, like, I don't know, somebody got stabbed in a pipe or something, like, <gasps> All right, all right, all right, ready? Okay. Kirby isn't wearing any pants. That's the reaction. <laughs> yeah, he, still yeah he, he drops. Yeah, we actually see what's underneath Kirby's clothing. Okay, anyway, all right. <laughs> <laughs> what? I think I just heard someone making John Tron noises. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be when Sniper World shows up. <laughs> These are really good. I genuinely believe that you're a crowd who is actually excited about what they're watching. <laughs> All right, and now uh, just, 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 
suggested it, so now we have to do this. Uh, I want the yeah! All right. Yeah! <laughs> Thank you all very much. That was awesome. Also, for those of you who might have missed it uh, last night, because that was when my only actual panel was, uh, but uh, I thank you everybody who, if you came out. Um, uh, yeah, uh, episode six of Tome, which is entirely starring this guy over here as Nylock, uh, is uh, is going to be going on probably tomorrow night if uh, if I'm able to make that happen. And um, there's there's the Nylock theme song, which will be downloadable from Bandcamp. I barely pulled off, by the way. No, I mean, no, he did a really good job. It's really. Funny. I tried it. He originally had it set for a pitch that was like, Nylock, the dragon of destiny. Yeah. And I could not do that. And then I realized his singing skills are about as good as Russell Crowe's. Yeah. Oh. I did. I did record a Russell oh, Crowe version of the song. Do you have that on? Him? <laughs> not on here. Oh, okay. No, I'm sorry. No, 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 We just, we just found out. We just found out. We just found out. We just found out. Nostalgia Critic does that better than you do. That's what I was going to say. Wait, what? Nostalgia Critic does the bad Russell Crowe impression better than you do. Oh, he does? What does he do? Like, just he did it, except it was better than when you did it, because... Because you're a terrible actor. That's how bad I am. Except no. No, actually... He was saying this on the other panel yesterday. You want to hear like a real, like amazing acting performance from this guy? Episode six of Tome. I'm like, oh. I was so like he was making me cry. <laughs> and not a, in a bad way. He wasn't making me cry in a bad way. For those of you who haven't watched the show, Nylock's kind of this character who is always in character. Like he's, they're all playing a game, and he's kind of like, yes, the 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 the, the rogue, the, the knight who shall fight evil and all that. I can't do the voice right now, I'm so sorry. But uh, in this one episode, he basically breaks character, which is a big deal for, for Nylog because he's always, ah, he's always uh, doing that, that role. And uh, basically, Kirk, when he was leading me into the episode, said, okay, for this scene, I just want you to talk. Just be yourself. And I was like, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> it was very weird having to just be like, okay, this he, is... He knocked it out of the park, though. Like, my... Uh, Liz from Wachow, who's the script supervisor, and I were, were recording him, and we were like tearing up when he was doing that. It's really good, so I'm really, I'm, I, I'm, I'm, welcome to the phallic panel. No, but I'm really proud of it. And, uh, but I'm really proud of it. I hope you guys will enjoy it. Uh, I'm sorry. And uh, now I'm going to stop talking about tone related stuff because this is the Yu-Gi-Oh! Reverse panel. So oh, yes. Everybody asks questions. <laughs> well, it's the Little Karibo panel, right? It's a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge to Little Karibo. Little Karibo. Hey, there we go. So we can and, talk about whatever hey, hell I so want. So I shouldn't be up here, whatever. Oh. oh. Anybody have any questions about anything, anything whatsoever about like movies or video games or, or Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge or Naruto or anything? The gentleman with the beard with the red shirt. Hey, I talked to you a little while ago. Yes. How should they break into the, the, the voice acting or the animation business? For those of you who couldn't hear, uh, the gentleman over there ha uh, runs an animation club, uh, a class. I teach, yeah. You teach the animation class, that's right, sorry. Uh, and uh, he was asking what sort of message I should give to your students to tell them how to break into the... I'm, I'm kind of interested in, in education. Education. And then after education, what, what should they do? What should they do? Kerb, do you want to give your take on it? Because obviously you actually animate stuff. Yes. Well, I mean, it, it sounds like you're asking about like the entertainment business in general. Um, it's funny, I was just thinking about this, I, actually it's not funny, it's kind of dark. Because I, I tend to give like really like blunt advice about this kind of stuff, but I was even just talking about this yesterday. Maybe those of you who follow me on Twitter saw this. Um, in the entertainment business, like 99% of people that you're going to meet, like even if you think that they're really, really cool to you or really nice to you and they might even be your friends, are all like in it for themselves and they kind of have to because they have to like think of their own interests and accomplish their own goals. And there's very, very few people that like will put what you want to do before them. 
So because of that, <clears throat> you have to really, really think about, like, you have to look out for number one. Obviously, you can still, I mean, like, we have like a core group of people that we really trust and work with and you know, that work in the business. Uh, you know, but you really, really have to like go for your own goals and not necessarily depend on anybody else. And in terms of like pursuing it, uh, whether, and that's whether it's writing, voice acting, editing, animating, drawing, anything that has to do with the entertainment business overall, you really, really have to pursue and fine tune what it is that you can do that is that you, that you excel at the most. Um, I mean, like, I do a little bit of everything. I've, a lot of us do a little bit of everything, and I, I think that that is useful to some degree to have an understanding of all aspects of, of this kind of stuff. Um, but I, 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 there's also stuff that we are better at that we are pursuing. Like, you know, Martin has created voiceover work, and he's been doing auditions for, for professional stuff lately. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I mean, animation is, is first and foremost my thing, so that's what I study the most and, and try to, you know, really do the best I can on it, so. Uh, did you work, like, like, even if you fail at something the first time, work, work at it over and over again? Because as we were talking about just now, I had some really terrible comics back in the day, like really awful, he will attest to it. They looked worse than any other webcomic you will have ever seen, and I did them for all the wrong reasons. Do something that you're passionate about, and if you if you first you do something that you feel like isn't your best work, just keep at it because honestly, that's. I mean, if you watch my show Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged, when it starts off, it's like Yu-Gi-Oh! is filmed for a live studio audience. Hey Joey! Hey, Joey. <laughs> it's like I just rolled out of bed, you know. I, I I just recorded it all in one take, which is essentially what I did. But uh, yeah, it, the more you try, the better you'll get. It's as simple as that. You you can't just repeat the same mistakes over and over again without learning from them, which I, I did. Uh, over the, you, you can literally watch my show and see myself improving, which is, it's fantastic for, for, for other people as well as myself to see that stuff. You also just made a good point about, because for the wrong reasons, you did those web comics with the intention of trying to become famous on the internet. Right, and then I, I made Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged with the intention of having fun. So I, I think that's uh, also a key difference. That's something else, especially for like young kids that maybe are like kind of uh, starstruck by like, I want to be like, like, like a star, I don't want to be famous. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know what that mentality really is like. I don't personally think it's ever, ever good to want to pursue doing something that you like for the purpose of becoming famous, whether it's internet famous or like movie star famous or whatever. I think that that's like a really, like, indulgent, like, greedy motivation. It should be because you love it. Like, because you love doing what you want to do and not because, like, you want to... Um, and honestly, with animation, I wouldn't even think about doing it unless you loved that, because that's the sort of thing that takes a huge commitment and a huge amount of patience and with very little payoff. Like, how long do they work on, like, the, the, the cartoons and get six seconds of animation out of it? It's insane. It takes, like, almost a year to produce one, like, 22-minute episode of, like, any show, basically, yeah. if it's an animated show. Yeah. So you got to be in it for the long haul. Should we move on to a different... Was sure. that an okay answer? Was that okay? Sweet, sweet. Do you want to pick somebody, Cub? Sure. Is that... No, wait, is that Assassin's Creed guy? That is the that? guy from last year who wanted to kill me. From oh. The, from... The Brotherhood. Oh, it has a thing for you. Do you want to bring it up, mate? <laughs> I am oh, sick I right now, so if you just wait around two hours, I'll probably keel over anyway. Okay. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Are you going to ask me to sing another song? Because if, if you are, I might have Curb do it instead, because my voice is shot. Actually, I just got this oh, what is this? Listen, I will see. What it's, is a it? it's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. It's a bomb. <laughs> it's a bomb, 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 bomb. Oh, yes. There we go. The We Know. What? Oh! What is, what is the apple? Oh, I probably shouldn't eat that, should I? <laughs> you're not in your Snow White cosplay anymore, Katie, otherwise. <laughs> but that, yeah, thank you. I appreciate the, the death threat. That's, that's one. <laughs> that's one. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's, ah, that's ah. fantastic cosplay, though. That's very it cool. It is. Didn't you, did you win an award today? No, sir. Oh, I But the people who didn't give him the award are now dead. Well... <laughs> They know. <laughs> uh, did you pick that guy? Yeah, I did. Finn! What time is it, Finn? Wrong, it's time to duel. Carry on, Stop!
What is my favorite episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! The Bridge Series? That's a good question. Uh, for a long time, it was episode six, which is the one where it basically starts off with um, Mako Tsunami, like being like, the ocean, blah, 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 blah. I can't do the voices right now, I'm so sorry. Uh, but, and they basically, he throws a harpoon at them, and then they just leave. <laughs> and I like that, I still laugh thinking about that, because in a real situation, if someone threw a harpoon at you and said, now nah, I'm gonna challenge you to cook it. No. That's funny because one of one of my new favorites is when you actually did that full episode. Oh, yeah. Full <laughs> harpoon. A harpoon of me. But uh, I think my actual favorite is uh, probably episode forty-five because I'm I'm yeah you know, we go back to the, the whole acting thing. But uh, I don't think I've ever really given. Oh my god, my voice. Well, which 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 one is forty-five? Forty-five is the one where <coughs> water puberty. <laughs> Puberty! Puberty! Don't Have you seen this? Oh, don't shave your beard! Puberty! Puberty! Uh, <laughs> well, uh, 45 is the one where, oh my goodness gracious, I'm turning into Naruto! <laughs> oh. What is this you're after? Oh, is this the lozenge? I may need that. Yeah, Thank you, Tadashi. Everyone clap for Tadashi. Tadashi X. Tadashi underscore X. Follow her. Oh, oh, I love you. Thank you so much. Uh, what was that? Nobody said anything. Okay. Uh, uh, 45 is the one where Marek kills his dad. And, uh, what? <laughs> That's Good. the best reaction. That's the one where he kills his dad. <laughs> uh, but I was really proud of that one because I felt like I hit all of the right emotional like uh, levels as well as all the humor and i felt like the acting was actually halfway decent and i also felt like listening to the voices i can usually tell you know oh that's me doing that line that's me just doing a different voice but listening to like the back and forth between the different characters it, it, like with marik's dad and everything it was so much fun just listening to like the dynamics of the different characters because it was so different like you have ishizu and marik and his dad and there was they're so unique those voices i know oh thank you so much you guys are wonderful, thank you. No, I'm all right, thank you though. Uh, but um, I actually, speaking of that episode, I went to a convention in Finland uh, la last year, yeah. Whoa, what, what? Yeah, Finland! Is there somebody from Finland here? No, but I have Finnish friends and they're fabulous. Oh, they are fabulous. fabulous. It was probably one of my favorite, I'm so sorry about my voice, by the way. It's probably one of my favorite conventions I've ever been to just because the fans were so nice and enthusiastic. And there was this one particular fan <coughs> who was walking around dressed like young Marek from like his Tomb Keeper days. And not only was she like the, the Yami Marek, she was she had like the Millennium Rod with like the, the end shaped like the dagger, and she was covered in blood. <laughs> and she was terrified. But the best part about it is like she, she like I was walking there, I was like, oh that's kind of scary. And like she turns and looks at me and she like her eyes go wide and she recognizes me and she goes, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> oh my goodness. Is, is 46 the one now? The, the one 46 after is the one after 45. Oh. Is that the one with uh, Merrick versus Bacora? Yes. Yeah, I think that's, and not just because that was my first episode, although that was really cool. Uh, it sounded like a, some old rambling guy in a documentary. They say we were storming the beaches of Normandy. <laughs> and then we played a car game. <laughs> Good. 46 good. is my favorite. Really? Yes. Oh, I, don't know. I, I, have, I have good memories of it. That, that was actually that was at the first convention that we went to together. It was I my apologize favorite. for talking with my mouth full, by the way. Come, 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 come. Uh, I like it. Let's move on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Wait. What? You like the episode? Or you like me talking with my mouth full? <laughs> oh. Goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm gonna pick something. Did you? Oh, yeah, yeah, your turn. Uh, you over there in the back. Yeah, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. There are lots of plans with the Naruto spoof series. I love doing the Naruto series almost like more than I enjoy doing the Yu-Gi-Oh! series, because it's basically just me making fun of everybody I know. 
which is somehow more fun than making fun of a, a show about car games. Um, <laughs> so, but I, I get to just goof around and, do, and be as vulgar and as stupid as possible. And that's, I, you know that's fun, right? I mean, look at, look at us up on here. But, um, yeah, censoring ourselves. <laughs> no, I am. But um, <laughs> I do intend to do the second Naruto movie. <laughs> oh, did somebody squeak? <laughs> stone, the stone of Gel El or whatever. Uh, yeah, the hell you, it is. you you play. Uh, uh, what's uh, Shikamaru? Shikamaru, yeah. Right. Hey, Naruto, and, um, I wear a thing on my arm. In the second movie, Sasuke is gone, and Shikamaru has replaced him. And the whole movie, in my version, Naruto is just going to call him Sasuke. <laughs> <laughs> Sasuke, Sasuke, I can't wait to go save the people of Gel El or whatever. I'm not Sasuke, dude. Like, I don't care. And I hate care that you are. Yeah, very excited about that. I actually, I, I can't wait. I want to get season three of Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge done, preferably this decade, and then, <laughs> and then move on to some serious Naruto spoof stuff, because I have so much great stuff planned, and I just, I want to, I'm ready to go, really I am. Gen oh, thank you, thank you so much. I hope so, too. Gentlemen over here. Uh, when writing uh, for the Abridge, how much time do you spend hammering out the script before you really start, um, Recording. How much time is spent hammering out the script for an abridged episode? All of my time, actually. I, I, I think I spend more time writing than I do on any of the other stages. Like, people always ask, how long does it take to make an abridged series episode? And it's usually dependent on how long it took me to write it. Because sometimes the ideas just aren't there. And sometimes, and, and I don't know about you guys, but w when I want to write something, I have to sit down and spend like four or five hours before I feel like I've actually accomplished something worth using. Uh, so... When I'm writing a Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridged episode, obviously my real life factors into it. And also, I'm always second, always second guessing what I write. I have no confidence in, in my ability to write comedy because I don't really like comedy at the end of the day. I, I, I enjoy the reaction it gets, but I feel like comedy is one of the most forced me methods of writing because everything is building up to the same reaction. It's always a laugh. Like, you can't really go any other direction with it. I mean, you can if you're a better writer than I am, but... Uh, uh, what was, well, I was going somewhere. Well, how long does it take to write? Um, sometimes it varies between like a month to two, three months, but if I did nothing but sit and write and edit, it would probably take like a week to do one episode. But that's without like, like sleeping or eating or drinking or anything like that. And I have done that sometimes, and I wasn't happy. So that's why it doesn't take, it doesn't take a week to make an abridged episode. Well, the, the other thing too now compared to like when you were doing the first, what, like 40 episodes is yeah. that now, you know, he has like, you know, me and like Mariana and some of the, the TFS guys and people like that to like bounce like, oh, like I, I'm a little, or like the Witch Out guys, like actually the, the latest episode uh, where Tristan is like, Joey, I blah, 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 whatever at the end, like. You said we're right. I can't do it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he was in a, a call with His me. voice doesn't give him super strength anymore. Oh. Oh. Welcome to the depressed panel. Oh. Uh, but he, we were in a, in a call, me and, and him and the Wachow guys were, were talking to him, and he was asking for like suggestions on different stupid things for Tristan to say during that joke. And we just like pitched some ideas, and uh, like most of them were in there. I think we actually did... Did I come up with the in the few moments the sun will rise? Or was no, that your that was, that was, that was me. Okay, I forgot which one. <laughs> Someone's like, ah, ha, ha. I, came, you. I, I came up with one of them. I don't remember which one it was. Whatever. Uh, yes, you there with the with the black hair. I think where's that? That's very specific. You with the black hair. Sorry, go on. What is your favorite Lady Gaga parody? And also, are you gonna make any more episodes of Merrick's Evil Council of Doom? Very good questions. What is my favorite Lady Gaga parody? I was, I mean, obviously, uh, Brooklyn Rage was something I kind of, I came up with in the space of two hours, because I was just listening to, what is it, uh, bad, no, it's Poker Face, Poker Face thank you, oh, how do you know that, um, <laughs> I was listening to that, and I just was like, I did po po Poker Face, it's Joey Wheeler, I sounded like Joey Wheeler at the time, though, uh, and I, I basically was like, ah, that kind of rhymes, and it kind of fits, maybe I should just do this as a song parody, and then I wrote that in the, in the course of an hour, and then I edited it overnight, and it was one of the easiest videos I've ever made, and it's like it exploded in like a day. So I was like, "Wow, that, that was fun!" And I, 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 I got a kick out of it. And then I was like, "I had to do another one, but I don't want to just do it for the sake of doing it." So I was listening to Bad Romance, which at the time was like her other big hit, and um, I thought, "What does Bad Romance rhyme with?" And I, I, I went really, really far with it, 
Like I kept coming up with different things and ultimately I settled on leather pants because there was a line in the show where Marek says he wants the power to look good in leather. And so I thought, what if their song was all about them trying to take the Pharaoh's leather pants? And I pitched it to Curb because uh, he animated the video. And I said, what if we did like a whole video where it was just Marek and Bakora trying to yank off the Pharaoh's pants? And I was like, the fan girls will love it. <laughs> and he was like, how about we just do it like an actual music video where they're dancing and having fun? And I was like, okay. <laughs> and, then, and then we did it. Um, I really like the latest one, though, for the charity. Uh, I was actually going to say, Pharaoh's Throne. Uh, oh. I think that's, that's my overall favorite. Yeah, overall, I think it, as far as the lyrics go and like the, the dynamic of having Bakora and Yami sing, and just the, the, it, it sticks to like, a plot almost. And it's cool to see like the ancient Egyptian version of those characters as well. I, I, I think you won't be getting to those in about 20 years. Right. <laughs> I'll sound like this for real when I get there. But uh, yeah, Shady Box did a great job mixing it, and I think honestly that's probably my favorite of all of them. What was the other question? Uh, about the Mary Seal Council. Mary Seal Council. They will, they will have another video. I, I intended to do one much sooner, but uh, like I said, I'm focusing on season three right now. I'm trying to sort of avoid doing the spin-off stuff. There will be another episode of the Evil Council, at least one more, where Marik and Bakora, who obviously just split up, they will get back together again. Oh, uh, what? what? People are disappointed? Really? Or are you just awing because it's cute? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm secretly plotting to shoehorn uh, Noah into Merrick's evil council. <laughs> Noah's evil council is him and his shorts. <laughs> and they're wonderful. Somehow I can still do Noah. There will be another Merrick's evil council again. Yeah. Your turn, Nick. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> the Slifer Red Duelist right there. Um, are there any more plans for Merrick or, and or Bakura to play more video games together? Definitely. Definitely more Let's Play plans in the works. People always shout out different ideas to me at the conventions, and I always love every single one, and then I always go home and think, oh, I actually have to do it now. <laughs> but I just did Merrick Plays Minecraft for a convention promo. I don't know if you guys saw that. That was a lot of fun. Uh, but the, the one that people always ask for is like the... What did I say? I said Minecraft? Yeah, I did. It's because I'm addicted to Minecraft. <laughs> uh, but uh, Probably the rest of this panel is too, right? The one people always suggest is Bakora plays Amnesia or Silent Hill. And I always thought, yeah, that's a great idea, but he'd enjoy those too much. You know, he'd get a kick out of all the horrible things that are happening. Uh, but, huh? Shaq Fu. Shaq Fu. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You know what, actually, speaking of Shaq Fu, I just discovered, because you guys watch Continue? Yeah. Okay, so a couple people. Uh, it's, it's a cool video review show, you should check it out. Um, they did a review of uh, one of the, I think the Yu-Gi-Oh game for like PS1 or something. Right, yeah. And Martin commented about it because I showed it to him. And then they, I, like, they found out that they were fans of each other's stuff. And I, right. I had no idea. And I was like, oh, cool. But because uh, when you said Shaq Fu, it was reminded me of Continue Show. Who would play Shaq Fu? Can the continue guys? Well, yeah, but which Yu-Gi-Oh character would play Shaq Fu? Oh, um, I don't know. Who, who would be Tristan? <laughs> yeah, who, who would be who? I know Shaq Fu. What what, what Yu-Gi-Oh character would be like hardcore into like fighting games? No, Yugi. I feel like I feel like Yu-Gi. I, I feel Mokuba. like Mokuba. <laughs> Actually, that, that's yeah, that's funny. <laughs> I like how people are like Mokuba, Big Brother. Yeah. I feel like you you spoke of his future now. He's just a, like a mosh pit hanging out guy. I still think Mokuba should have been in GX older and hot. <laughs> what? You agree? No, you agree with me. Don't even go, whoa, oh, that's weird, Trev. You agree with me on that. <laughs> you did. You told, no. My we voice is dying. I'm we sorry. Were, we were to, no, you're not sorry. Shut up. <laughs> we were talking about Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, and we were like, why the hell isn't Mokuba in the show older and awesome? That would be so cool, I would right? like to see him be in the show, yeah. He would get kidnapped. <laughs> no, he, no, he'd be awesome. He'd be doing the kidnapping. And he'd have, like, the long, like, right in his hair. He'd be hot. It'd be awesome. What? Whatever. You agree with me? <laughs> you did. I know you did. Maybe. No, you did. Don't even maybe that. But other uh, Let's Play videos I'd like to do if my voice returns. <laughs> Merrick should play Viva Pinata. Merrick should play Viva Pinata. <laughs> Why does it sound like the Pharaoh? <laughs> what? If I kill the Pharaoh, will he shoot candy everywhere? <laughs> yeah, that game is like mostly Yu-Gi-Oh characters. That's right. Uh, but uh, I, I always wanted to do Kaiba Plays Minecraft, and I probably told this story already, but 
if I would want to do Kaiba playing Minecraft just because every time he went digging for minerals, he'd be like, oh my god, a giant rock. Oh my god, a giant rock. And I just realized that Kaiba is like the only voice I can do right now. Uh, Yugi. What? Uh, Yugi. What? Yugi. What do you want? I'm better than you. Espeon. Um, I choose you. You, Psywave. I'm gonna get sued. What's up? This is <laughs> What's your question? Was Yu-Gi-Oh! Rage your first choice? Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! was the first Was Yu-Gi-Oh! my first choice to, to parody? And, like, for some reason, I can also see you doing Beyblade. Beyblade? Yeah, like, Beyblade! Let it rip! We actually... Right. I, I can't really do the thing that we did, just because it would require yelling, but we were hanging out at, at your, your place in New York, we were watching Beyblade, and I'm like, it was so ridiculous, I've never seen it before. This is, this is, Mar it's Martin. worse than Yuki. -Ho. It's really bad. Martin, Martin, and I, Martin and Mariana were visiting me in New York. There's a Yuki cosplay, just walked by, I was like... <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Um, yeah, we, they were visiting just to see the Bonds Beyond Time movie, which was screening in New York at that time. And we got up early, oh, oh because a friend of mine was, was on a Pokemon episode that was airing that morning, uh, Lucian. Right. And so we got up early to watch it, and before it, on Cartoon Network, was Beyblade. And we, and I'd never seen, like, this, like, the current incarnation of Beyblade before. And, oh my god, yeah. so many friends! Yeah. Yeah, Ryuga, you go, oh, I'm gonna throw the spinning top on you! Like actual like Beyblade tile. It's ridiculous. And I have a, a friend of mine, uh, voices on that show, and, and he, he and I always jokingly, like, fighting with each other about, like, like, oh, Pokemon's better, oh, Beyblade's better, I'm like, dude, really? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, what was my first choice before Yu-Gi-Oh? Uh, it was all, wasn't it? You, you were looking for Pokemon episodes and you found Yu-Gi-Oh! on accident, right? I was, I was looking for Pokemon episodes to watch on TV. Right. So you always joke that in some alternate universe I did a Pokemon br abridged instead. Yeah, and he's like little... Little Pikachu. Pikachu. Little Pikachu <laughs> instead in some alternate universe. Right. Uh, Mike is doing Yu-Gi-Oh! abridged. Right. <laughs> um, <laughs> only our friends laughed at that joke. But, uh, <laughs> I think before that, I mean... I never really thought about doing a parody of anything before Yu-Gi-Oh! Abridged, but the closest I ever came was I, I used to like have my old video camera like when I was 12, and I would set it up in front of the TV and like mute the TV and just whatever was showing, we would just dub over, like me and my friends at school. And MST3K style, sort of, except we were playing the characters. And uh, usually it was like a really like, it was either an old sci-fi show, or it was like a new shot sci-fi show. Uh, like the, the main one we did was Babylon 5, and I voiced like all the female characters. <laughs> but uh, I really enjoyed doing that, and that's kind of one of the things that inspired me to keep doing that sort of thing and dub over clips with just myself, uh, which ultimately led to Yu-Gi-Oh! Bridge. So that was the closest I ever came was I guess Babylon 5 abridged. I don't know. So like also, that. I, I remember, I've never seen these, but didn't you say that there were some like old like fan dub clips that you did of like just like straight stuff for Yu-Gi-Oh? Possibly, I don't remember. Because I remember, I think you had like a like some joke about that in, in your in your Eminem parody, and I was like, wait, you did something like that? I don't remember. Okay, maybe I'm making it up. I do that. I genuinely don't remember. Your turn to pick something. <coughs> Gentlemen, right here. <coughs> what was my favorite freeze moment? Died. Of the died. No, no, when he died. Um, I was very proud of the first episode he was in. Because, well, not the Bardock special, but the, uh, the actual episode where uh, No Country for Old Namex. Uh, I, was, I was very, very thrilled with just hearing the voice for the first time. Well, not for the first time, but seeing the character join the series for the first time and interact with these characters and, and have people say, wow, you know, because it, it, it was not anything like what people expected. People were expecting, like, a take on the Linda Young voice, you know, from, like, the... What dub was it? The, the, the first dub that Funimation did. Yeah, yeah. People were expecting something very, very similar to that, and they went a very different direction with it, and the fact that they asked me to do it was a huge honor, and it was something that they really didn't have to do, because they have some very talented guys on their, their, their cast, 
so just getting to see people's reactions and 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 see myself being malicious and everybody was like, oh, Freeze is kind of like the Joker in this, and I was like, oh hell yeah, I I I'd love to play the Joker in something, but yeah, probably that one. Uh, what, what's kind of cool too about that is that around the same time Dragon Ball Kai was coming out, and they decided to go with a, a male actor to play Frieza in the dub for the first time. That's so right. it was kind. Of, hey, don't you thumbs down? Chris Harris is amazing. I saw that. <laughs> I like Chris Harris. But um. But uh, yeah, I, th I, I thought that was really cool. I, th I think it was necessary for many years to make that change, and I thought that it was cool that like Scott made that decision for the abridged version because he liked Japanese Frieza a lot, and then Funimation had the same thought around the same time. So it's like, oh, that was pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, did you actually that last one? I did. You do yeah. the next one. Uh, Joker, speaking of which. Okay, so if you had to choose one villain that you voiced to be your Don't do that. I'm sorry. I sorry, carry on. I had a peanut butter sandwich before this. Sorry, continue. <laughs> well, I mean, okay, if you had to choose a villain that you would want to voice just from anything, what would you One villain from, oh, from anything? From anything? Oh, wow. Oh. Oh. Like from an actual cartoon? Oh, from anything? If I could play any villain ever? Oh, goodness gracious. Um, Darth Malik? What? Oh, from, from the Knights of the Old Republic, sorry. I was like, Malik? What? <laughs> um, uh, that's such a difficult question, because like, I mean, obviously the Joker is something that you know, anybody would kill to play, but Mark Hamill has it down so well. You're, you're, I wouldn't you're want talking to touch like, like pre-existing characters too, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, uh, uh, me? Really? Yeah, well, that, you know, the thing is, maybe right now, how that, my voice is all, ha, 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 ha. Well, Mark, Mark Hamill's like the definitive Joker, but I also like other people's, like, versions of Joker. Like, I don't, I'm not, like, always necessarily married to that one version. So Honestly, if they, if they gave me the chance to voice Frieza, like, in, in an official capacity, I'd love to. Oh, yeah. I'd great. kill to do something like that. That would be awesome. I like, uh, this is gonna sound lame, but I think, I'd, I'd love to do a take on Shadow the Hedgehog. Is he a villain? When he starts out, I know, uh, whatever. No, but, like... I don't know. I would try to like. I feel like the Sonic characters like are, are kind of like one dimensional. Not because of their actors. The actors are, are great, especially the current cast. But I feel like the characters themselves are kind of like one dimensional. I feel like I don't know. I would want to try to like maybe add some more depth to his performance or something. I don't know. Do you guys need me to lead into this thing that you guys are doing? Well, because they. So you noticed up the last. Sorry. Audience. Audience, are you tired of hearing a man who pretends to be the king of games? I do pretend to be the I king of games. I bring you the genuine article. <laughs> Yugi Moto! Oh my god, is Dan Green here? Uh -oh. Yes, we brought him in! If he's the genuine article, where is leather pants? <laughs> Those are clearly not leather. That's the article of clothing necessary. Fake, 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 fake. Oh, so. I had to take them off. Congo's got to. That's exactly what the King of Games sounds like. I had to take them off. <laughs> Whoa, you're a jerk. I am a jerk. They told me to ad lib with these guys. Okay. So I'm, I'm, I'm playing a character. That's, this isn't how I really act. I'm sorry. So anyway, What's up, folks, King of here Games? I am. King of Games here with uh, Why do you wear glasses? Karabba Bear and Vic Mignogna. Wow. I'm sorry, can you repeat that, sir? Get off the panel. Get off the panel. Get off the panel. Get off. Get off. Vic Mignogna, right here with us. I'm Vic yeah, Mignogna. Right. This is Vic Mignogna. Hello. And I'm Christopher Sam. How's it going? I was able to make it after all. Do you guys like me at Full Metal Alchemist? This is Chris Sabat. This is the voice I use. Yeah, I'm Chris Sabat. I'm Chris Sabat. Chris, Chris Sabat. Chris Sabat. Chris Sabat. He's Rouge the Bat. Rouge Sabat. Rouge Sabat. Vic Mignogna, King of Games. That's his name, King of Games. What is happening? That's my name. It's your, it was your what surname. I wrote on every test. Your never. surname is Of Games. Of Games. <laughs> king of Games. So did you say the King of Gays? No. I did. I did. <laughs> did you? Yeah. No, I didn't. <laughs> and Jeff. Surely it would be the Queen gay. of Gays. I'm sorry. I mean, I, that was a terrible joke. Queen of Queers. So what are we doing right now? So I'm the, I'm the King of Gays. Are you answering What's questions too? What's wrong with your voice? Did you, oh. were you the king of gays earlier at some point? <laughs> Welcome to the giant shirt panel. What happened to my voice? Well. <laughs> you were trying to imitate the awesomeness of the king of gays. That's true. I was sent, my voice was sent to the shadow realm, that's right. You know the only type of people they send to the shadow realm, right? 
What type of people? Ha 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 they're coming! They're oh, coming! God. We must go! Oh no! Oh, the Black Summer Sun Senpai! Oh, get them into us! Kill them! Kill them! Yes! 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 Thank you, Anbu Block Black Ops Senpai Sama Sen Sun Kun Chen. So, so did they just get sent to the Shadow Realm? No, they got sent to Disney XD. <laughs> oh. Glad that worked out for the next bit. That's funny. That pumped. I don't know what just happened, but I think it's your turn to be That was beautiful. Uh, somebody, uh, the gentleman with the, the headband, is it? Yes. I definitely have more, uh, future plans to do charity events. Uh, I can't, I've nothing set in stone right now, but we're gonna try and do two a year. One towards the beginning of the year, I will probably do it in a, a couple of months, and one uh, late, like November, December. Uh, we have the charity in mind, it's uh, the, the, the rape victim awareness thing, I think. Uh, I forget the name officially, but, uh, and we're, we definitely are accepting donations and everything. I don't know if there'll be a one-shot involved, just because, like I said, I'm focusing more on uh, season three of Yu-Gi-Oh! And I kind of feel like the more I say, you know, I'm going to do all these extra videos, then the more distracted I'll be, and, and it'll take longer and longer for me to actually make the show I intended to make in the first place. But uh, it's definitely a possibility. And if it's not, then I'll definitely be throwing more, more interesting things into the pod, like maybe even better than a one-shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, bu 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 who is it? Uh, you haven't asked one. Yeah. Um, is it ever discouraging being banned so much? Like is it ever discouraging being? Up? <laughs> is it ever discouraging being what? Banned. banned. Okay. I thought you said is it ever discouraging being a ban? <laughs> <laughs> so I heard too. I was like, <laughs> it is. Uh, I want boobs. <laughs> I don't have that problem. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, it is discouraging. But honestly, uh, I think it's worse for the fans more than it is for me, because every time I get banned, people think that I'm gone, and so they just they stop looking for the episodes. And sometimes they're like, "Well, I'm trying to find the episodes, and they aren't in the place I usually find them. So where do I have to go now?" So they they get all kinds of mixed signals, and so it, it's way worse for them than it is for me. There's still there's still people who think that like four kids are doing it, which they're not. <laughs> right. And there are still people who think that. I, I don't make episodes anymore because they followed my original little Karibo channel, which was banned in 2008. Yeah, and obviously I've moved on since then. But um, it, it's, it's certainly, it's disheartening, but it, it's never gonna stop me from doing the show until somebody in an official capacity comes up to me and hands me a letter that says, stop doing this or we will take legal action, then I will keep doing it because honestly, it makes people laugh and I think that is enough, you know, at the end of the day. You know? <laughs> No, oh my god, Gamsi. Gamsi's here. <laughs> Gamsi Dude. supports the Dude, oh, man. Very scary. Making miracles. My turn, is it? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, we have like five minutes. Oh my god. <laughs> with the with the phone. The orange shirt. Yeah, sorry, it's red. Sorry. I was wondering, what ideas do you have for season four? What ideas do I have for season four? Separated, yeah. I don't. <laughs> it's like the most over the top dramatic whiny section of the show. I think I'll be able to make it funny. <laughs> but uh, I don't. I, I don't want to give away too many spoilers. I certainly have some specific ideas for the, the Yami and Yugi stuff. Uh, but as as for the season as a whole. I'm, I'm probably going to take a lot of it as it comes because the reason I don't like that season as much as the rest of the show is because it, it feels very much like they, they just had a bunch of random ideas and threw them together. Like, it's, it's, it's everything that, whenever people talk about filler, 
it's kind of what I feel is, is the worst thing about filler because it, it, it just, it doesn't gel. It doesn't feel like a story. It just feels like a bunch of random events that happen to take place at the same time. Uh, so I'm probably going to just, you know, t treat it like it's just individual little story bits. But uh, there were certain jokes I, I can share, like, uh, there's that one scene where Taya is hitchhiking on the desert road or whatever, and like, and, and like the guy driving is like, Aruga, like he, he thinks he's gonna get off with a chick. And uh, then all the other guys come out, and they're, they're like, and they're like, hey, hey, and he's like, oh. But in my version, it's gonna go the other way around. <laughs> I'm sorry. You think, you think you would change the, the Domo guys again, or do you think that they're pretty? It's possible, I don't wanna say that I wouldn't, but I probably shouldn't just because I think people are expecting it. And I think I might be able to do something fun with that. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Because I remember you changed Raphael pretty early on. I changed a bunch of the things. Because, <laughs> like, I don't think... I think... Zug, Zug. Zug, Zug. One would last, like... Although that, that, that made it into so many, like, episode one of Bridge series where like, I'm going to rip off Little Karibo, like, entirely. Here's a character who says Zug, Zug, because that joke was so funny. That he kept it, except he didn't, and now he's dying because oh. I brought the horrible memories. We have time so. for like two more questions. I think. Okay. You want to pick the next one? Sure. Uh, you over there. Over there. Yeah. Yeah. What's the hardest one for you to do? Every voice right, right now. Right now. <laughs> the hardest voice for me to do. Uh, you'd be surprised, but uh, some of the quieter voices are, are very difficult to maintain unless you know what you're doing. Like uh, the the Bakora voice is a very, very quiet spenny down here. You have to get pretty close to the microphone. I can't even do it right now. Hey, you're doing it. I'm doing it? Okay. Uh, but I, um, <laughs> when I first did it, uh, I, did, I exhaled like the whole time while I was doing the voice. And it's one of those things that if you do that too much, you, you, you sort of go dizzy. And I almost fainted the first time I did Bacora's <laughs> voice, which is appropriate because that's how his fangirls always react to him when they hear him. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that or Doom Devlin, because they're just so quiet and so subtle, but they obviously have to be very strong voices and consistent, so it's just hard to maintain them. Also, Naruto, just because he's yelling all the time. Uh, yeah, probably those. Uh, did you? Oh, you I, don't, I never have a problem voicing anybody, ever, really? because I'm a professional, <laughs> unlike you. I can't, actually, I can't think of one that's like hard to do, honestly. Uh, actually, I, had, I just did a video game about a month ago where I played two characters that both ended up being directed to go like scratchier than I expected, and they both yelled a lot, so I was like dead after like two or three hours of oh. recording. I was like, oh. and, and you were just ill as well, so. Oh, no, 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 this was like a while ago. Oh, okay. It wasn't when I was sick, it was just like. We got, the, we got time for one more question. Who has a really, really great question? The best Nobody. question in existence. Nobody has a really good question. Like to refer to you. <laughs> That's not this a question. This gentleman right over here. The, with, yes. Uh, you, yes, pointing yourself, yes. Okay, here's a good one. What's the meaning of life? Oh. I know your answer to this. Really? Yeah. I remember, I remember it very... No, no, no. No, I know your real answer. <clears throat> I don't think I'm going to say the same thing because I don't remember what I said. But the meaning of life is surrounding yourself with as many great people as you can and spending as much time with them as possible and just going out of your way to, to make sure that everybody else is much happier than you are because yeah, this. then everybody will be happy. This, that was, this is that, the meaning of life. That was, That's your, right. that was your answer at Yomacon a couple Absolutely. years ago. This. this is the meaning of life. Yeah. Getting to see you guys and see my friends and, and just have love in your life. Is hookers and blow. Uh, good night, everybody. <laughs> Thanks for coming. But yeah, seriously, thank you guys so much for coming to the convention. I have an autograph signing. Uh, if, if you want to, I, I, where is the autograph signing, Monica? It's, uh, it's upstairs. Okay. Oh, wait, fantastic. actually, do we know if it's upstairs? Monica just told me it was. Okay. Oh, it wasn't moved down here. Okay, cool. All right. Okay. Uh, so if you guys want to come over to that to say hey or say goodbye or I'll get me to sign something, that'll be great. But th seriously, thank you guys so much for coming to Comic Con. It's one of my favorite conventions. You guys, one of my favorite audiences. Thank you so much. And thank you for being my audience. I love you all too.